Hello and welcome, my name is Cool, and today I'm gonna show you a game called Loadout, which I got very pleasantly surprised by. I didn't think it would be this fun, it's just amazing. I, I love this game already. So I'm playing a game mode called Death Snatch, which people may more commonly know as, oh what's it called, Kill Confirmed in um, the Call of Duty series and uh, probably something else but the game mode is that you kill someone then they drop a little vial in this at least they drop a vial of something i don't know what the actual name for the vials are but you pick them up and your team gets score for that so the first to a certain amount of score wins the game and yeah that's about it so, Loadout is a free-to-play third-person shooter, which have a really, really interesting, like, customization, weapon customization, um, engine thing, possibility in it. Because I'm going to show you that later, but first I just want to show you some gameplay, because I enjoy this game so much. It's really, really fun to play around with f friends with. It's quite fun alone too, but it's definitely better with friends, because there's all all game modes are objective-based modes, which isn't that good to play with random people, not in my opinion, at least, because I can get quite frustrated when I'm doing awesomely, and then my teammates have no idea what they're doing. So that can be a bit infuriating when you're playing something like Yakhammer, which is their version of Capture the Flag. And I think they've done Yakhammer really, really nicely. There's one map where it's Yakhammer is terrible at, because the map is too big for the game mode. But yeah, I, I, I enjoy this game a lot. It's, it's just incredible. And there's, there's four base weapons which you can customize. And then you can apply all sorts of stuff to it. And um, I'm doing terribly because I'm commentating. But uh, yeah, it's just... I love the rocket launcher in this game. It's the weapon I use the most. It's probably... The, a lot of people are using that yellow beam, which is extremely powerful but I just find I mean the rocket launcher is extremely powerful too but it's so enjoyable to use compared to other weapons it just feels so good to just hit someone square in the face with a rocket launcher and just the missile just blows them into tiny pieces and everything is just great so yeah it's it's just a great game and I'm gonna try to this uh, death snatch, which this game mode is, is probably the one I haven't played a lot by myself. I mainly played with at least a friend. But death snatch is my favorite game mode when I'm playing by myself because I can do if I can carry the team the most then when I'm playing with random people usually, if I do at least pretty good. But the thing is when you play like Capture the Flying and stuff, it's, I, I like I said before, I find it, fru I can find it very frustrating when the team, it's, it's hard to communicate and nothing really gets done very well. So it's still fun, but it can be infuriating for me sometimes but yeah th th there's just even though there's only four base weapons in this game the um, the beam the beam weapon the pulse weapon the rifle and this the rocket launcher but i'm gonna show you the customization i'm i'm gonna do that pretty soon uh I really need to show you that because uh, it's cool. 
It's not, I, I don't think it's balanced at all. It's probably like something, there's probably some combos that are way too overpowered now. And it probably will get patched, but the game been released for like four days or something, so... But it's still fun. The, the game, that the game isn't balanced doesn't really matter that much. Because it isn't supposed to be balanced. That's at least my... How I see this game. It's just silly fun. Of course, if there is balance, it might be better. But as long as they don't take away the fun from the whole thing, I'm happy. Because it's just tons of fun. And it's... Uh, the rocket are just the rocket launcher is really really well made it reminds me of like yeah the rocket launcher and like the exploding weapons in like UT and like quake it's it's just very satisfying uh, it's probably the most satisfying third person multiplayer game I have played so far that's at least my opinion at the moment because it's just it's just great it's simply great so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you the weapon customization now and then I will show you the other game modes because you really need to see the weapon customization because it's really interesting so so now we are in the weapon crafting menu. I can show you. I can show you the menus real quick. Here's the finding screen. Uh, right now there's only casual play. I think they were competitive just the other day. I don't know why that's crossed out. I think it was available before, but I very well might be wrong because I only played casual so far. And yeah. And here's the weapon crafting. You can see like stats and the experience because you level up the guns too. It takes forever, but yeah, it it doesn't upgrade the weapons a lot just by leveling up. But let me show. Oh yeah, and there are slowdowns too. And there there are quite a lot of micro or not quite a lot of micro transactions, but you can buy like. You only get these six weapon slots when you gain, when you're at level 30, and after that, you can buy a lot more weapon slots. So it's kind of annoying that you can't play around with the weapons more if you don't pay. But the thing is, the I don't, as far as I can tell, the game isn't really pay to win at all, because you can't buy a weapon at least. Well, not really. You can buy currency and stuff like that, and you can buy XP boosts. I'm gonna show you. Oh, here's here's only the money. Then you can buy like a starter pack and XP boots, boot, XP boost. But yeah, it's and you have a tech tree, and it's just really great. But let's start with the weapon craft crafting, cause that's the meat of the or not the. It's one really big part of the game, at least, which makes it extremely, extremely good. So, you can name a weapon. I don't know what kind of weapon I want to do. I think I'm gonna do a pulse weapon and try the zapper. So, um, yeah, here's the, here's the customization. And the thing is, there's quite a lot of options on every... I mean, first you got, you can choose between rifle, launcher, pulse and beam. That's four options to start with, the base weapon. And after that, you can go into... Change the stock. And maybe put the scope on. The bioscanner I haven't tried at all, actually. And let's make it, uh... Wait, I'm I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this actually. Let's try to make. Yeah, uh, let's put a. I'm just gonna pick some random stuff. 
I'm not gonna make a good weapon now, but because I haven't actually made a good pulse weapon yet. Uh, let's put out uh, what about like uh, not a silencer? Oh, I didn't know that existed even. Uh, let's put a Gatling on because I haven't done that. There's still tons of stuff I haven't tried out yet because it takes. You can unlock everything quite fast from a couple of hours playing or not everything but at least the thing is you can try test everything so let's let's get that out and let's try shell loading and that some Tesla and just plonked uh, it on a bouncy and then you can test it you can test everything because you need to unlock some things in the tech tree first which is slightly annoying but yeah this is my gatling pulse sappy thing weapon oh so i got a shell loaded gatling gun pulse rifle or pulse weapon thing and the thing is which is awesome it's so fast to go back and forth between changing something you might oh I don't like that so let's let's try something else and you can go for like a high capacity instead and a sp something like that and you can just really quickly go back and forth between testing which is incredible because it's no downtime at all between like customization and uh, going back and testing stuff which is incredible it's just the thing that you don't need to waste tons of time going back through menus and it takes forever to load and uh, that's just a really really nice like nicely done thing so let's let's actually fiddle with a weapon I have let's fiddle with a weapon I already have so this is my beauty weapon which is I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna show it to you this is my like sniper beam thing it's not that great I haven't played around with it that much but I tried it out a lot of people are using these beams as you might have seen because it's really fucking powerful it damages a lot and it's just it's just I don't know it's hard to know what's good or not you need to test around a lot but I'm pretty sure in if it aren't videos out already which like explains which the optimal weapon is um, it will it will come sooner or later something will be the best combination there's always like that but yeah the the point I forgot about earlier was this game runs really really well at least on my PC I got a I got a pretty decent gaming PC. It's not amazing, but it's good and it runs really well. I, I always get 120 FPS constantly, so it's run, it runs extremely smooth, which really impressed me that it runs so good on launch. Not many games run this good on launch and they should. They absolutely should. And there's even a FOV slider in the settings, which is quite unusual for a third party or a third person games. But the thing is, the graphics here, you can't fit all around a lot with it. It's just a slider that doesn't tell you shit. That's a little bugbear I got, but it's, it doesn't really matter because the game looks, it looks good and it runs amazing. And that's the most important thing. Looks good, runs good. So, that's real nice. But I'm gonna show you my rocket launcher, which I absolutely love. You've already seen it before, but yeah, it deals just massive amounts of damage on like a perfect hit and I can also detonate it in midair I'm gonna I'm gonna show you here and if I just shoot that away and then I can detonate at will 
which is incredible. This launcher is just so much fun to use and it's so good and I love it. It's just so satisfying to blow people up with this and the manual explosion thing which is, uh, let's see, it's this one is just incredible. But you can do so much things, you can do, do so much things. Oh, actually the manual explosion decreases damage slightly, I didn't know that, but it doesn't matter because it's amazing. So, you can put on, like there's, here is, no wait, where are they? Um, it's, it's not there, it's not there. Where, here it is, here it is. So here's the, like the main ammo type which changes how the weapon works a lot. You can make every gun so it's a healing gun, which is really interesting. And you can make every gun to buff your teammates, which I actually haven't tried out yet. But yeah, let's, uh, I've been playing around with the pyro attachment or I had it on for a while, but I decided for rocket launchers, I didn't quite like it. Cause see how much the damage has dropped on the hits it's not that great but over time it deals a lot of damage but it's not as good as getting those perfect direct hits so yeah that's i i don't know it's just incredible you need to play around with this uh it's so much things you can do oh uh, that was a bit weird uh but yeah let's Let's show, and you got a couple of loadouts too. You don't unlock, no, I don't want to save anything because I haven't done anything nice. Yes, I mean, I, there we go. So unlock, like, I think it's level five to unlock the second loadout. Before that, you can feel quite limited. And in the beginning of this game, I got really overwhelmed. Even though the um, basic weapons are good, you can make stuff that are a lot better which is a problem or it will be a problem when new players will try to get into this game a few months down the line if they don't solve that somehow because yeah it's gonna be really on fire for those players later down the line which I'm slightly worried about for, for, yeah, cause that can like scare people away and I will probably play this game for a while if, yeah, if I still enjoy it, cause I enjoy it immensely now. But here's the tech tree. There's a lot of things you can upgrade or uh, unlock and upgrade. So to be able to test, um, to test the attachment, you need to firstly unlock the tier before so to for example let's what what do i want to unlock okay i'm just gonna take this and if i unlock the tesla for my launcher uh let's see transaction complete so i spent some this, this is the, by the way, the in-game currency that you get from just playing. You don't need to pay anything for this. And you get quite a lot of it, which I didn't expect. But when you play versus real humans, you can, you get quite a lot of gold pretty fast. So that's pretty good. It, it doesn't feel like too restricted with, the, it, the progression of the weapons aren't so slow which they could have been they could have slowed it down a lot but I'm happy with the progression actually I, li I like the speed of it but yeah there's a lot of tech things to get and after you use if you use an attachment on a gun you can later upgrade that attachment so but that takes forever to upgrade the attachment it takes absolutely forever but it doesn't really matter because it, you, as you see, assault barrel for rifle with medium rate of fire, most effective at medium range. Then you can see the stats, how much the next upgrade will upgrade your weapon. It's tiny upgrades, but 
I mean, if you get everything, it's absolutely gonna make a difference. So that I, I that's gonna be. I, it can feel a bit unbalanced, or yeah, I think that's gonna be a problem later when everybody's like super high level and someone new comes into the game. But uh, hopefully they solve that somehow later down the line. Um, anything more else? Oh yeah, the outfit is quite fun. I haven't played around with that, but you can you can do quite silly things. So you can put like a toothpick, uh, give him a nice little beard, and put a uh, let's see. <laughs> Uh, a beer, uh, a tailgater helmet, apparently what it's called. I didn't know that the, was the name. And you can change the shirt to... It's, what's, what's this? A, a tank top and this lower body will be some nice, nice tighty <laughs> Oh my god, that's a ball sack hanging out. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, no, no one's gonna carry it's just a, it's just a test. <laughs> I've actually not played around with the customization, but oh my god, I, I got my future look down. It even got penis physics. This game got penis physics. And this is what makes the game so great. It's so silly, it's just tons of fun, and the game isn't taking itself seriously. And it's it's just great, it's incredible. So, this is, unfortunately it seems like this you need to actually spend real money for the customization here. Because to look like fabulous you need to actually spend real money, which I didn't know, I didn't realize that before. But, yeah, it's still really cool, so if someone wants to spend a little bit of money, you can make some hilarious outfits. Which I'm not gonna do, because I don't... I, I, I don't want to... I, I don't think it's that important to look... Uh, yes, toss awesome. I don't think it's that important to look un unique. For me, it's not worth the money. If I'm gonna buy something, it's probably weapon slots or something. But I've been talking a lot about the weapons and stuff like that, so I will show you all the game modes now. So, I just got into a game of Jackhammer. My, probably my fav favorite game mode with at least a friend. Because then you can cooperate and protect each other when you try to cap the flag. But I haven't played this with four friends yet because it's a 4v4 always or 4v4 or less. Sometimes it's less and sometimes the match, uh, the matchmaking isn't quite there yet. But I will try. To show you why this capture the flag game mode is incredible and very nicely done. Because oh god. Oh, oh fuck. The the the, the death animations are incredible too. But I, I want to get the flag or the hammer which it's called. It's it, it's just a nice little touch which makes the game mode so much interesting. Someone have probably made something similar before, but it just makes so it just makes so much sense in this in this game overall. I like I like it a lot. But yeah, this map is the one I don't like to play capture the flag on too much because it's way too big. It's way too big and too few players. So it's really, really hard to cap. At least in a random game with random dudes, which aren't organized at all. It, it's you might. It's not impossible to grab the flag, but 
it can be quite tricky to get it back home, to say the least, because you need to run so, so far. This map is the only one that's like really, really big. The other one are smaller. So this is by far the biggest map, I think. It feels like the biggest map. It must be the biggest map. So, I don't like this map too much because I think it needs more player to make sense in this game because the thing that makes this game so incredible it's stuff usually happens all the time on all the other games mode it's like constantly fighting people and it's just it's just great how much oh let's see now now I will demonstrate the power of the hammer no the hammer Oh fuck, I didn't get him. But as you can see, you can attack with the hammer. Which is great. A really powerful attack. The hammer is very, very inspired from Halo. Halo 3 and onward. Because yeah, it looks very similar, but it now works as a flag. And yeah, I think that's just a great idea to solve it. Because... The thing is, that's perfect for when you're playing with random people, because playing with random people and capturing the flag and you can't defend yourself at all is extremely frustrating. I capture the flag is, in my opinion, can be the best like objective game mode, like overall. One of my favorites, if it's done right. But if it's done wrong, it's just infuriating if you don't have like an organized team of friends. Because it's like, it can be impossible to do anything because your team isn't organized. And everyone just tries to get the flag and dies. But... Yeah, it's it's a really it's a really fun game mode. It's 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 usually fun on your own too, but yeah, it can it's like I said, it can be infuriating if you're quite I, I like to win <laughs> So when I don't or just doing terribly and this game can feel unfair sometimes. But it's um, it's more fun it, it's so fun, it doesn't really matter that it feels unfair so early in this in the game now. For, for, for that's, that's my opinion at least. I have a lot more fun than like the moments I get frustrated. So the, the, like, um, the fun of the game just outweighs the frustrating part of it. And it's 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 just released, so free to play games usually or all games can but especially free to play games usually get improved over time because it's really hard to know how to put everything up before you know how the two like when the game's out how people will play it. Yeah, but uh, that's Jackhammer, the capture the flag game mode. I will now show you something else. I don't know quite yet what it will be, but... So, now we are in Extraction. Extraction is... How, how to explain it? Another objective-based game mode, because every game mode is objective-based in this game. It's, um, it's interesting. I've seen it's a little bit like Headhunter in um, other games and a little bit like uh, when you're... Okay, <laughs> just... I, I don't really know how to explain it, but as you see, there's their collector. When you're the collector, you are supposed to pick up the blue crystals, which... I don't know what they're called because the game is pretty bad ex explaining what 
what things are really calm in this game. That's a, a, a little bugbear I have too. That I don't know the um, official names of the things I'm trying to like collect and stuff like that. But the game mode, uh, someone gets um, announced as the collector. And then you pick up the blue crystals, drop it into these little things. And the other team also has a collector. And that makes this game mode quite hard, because it's hard to know what to focus on. Should I focus on killing the other collector while I'm not the collector? Or should I, should I defend my team's collector? So that's... This game mode is probably one of, uh, I think, the hardest one, just because you got quite a lot of choice what to do. It's hard to know how to most effectively help your team, because when you're playing with a random team, you don't really know their playstyle, so you don't know how the other teams are gonna play. So that's why I think that is this game mode is also better with friends or yeah organized I organized team so you can actually speak to each other and decide on some kind of strategy but it's still fun it's still fun by yourself but it's definitely better with friends and hopefully I will become the collector so I can actually show you that part because uh, that's um, that's an interesting it, it's an interesting role the collector have increased movement speed when you're carrying crystals maybe a little bit overall even though you're not carrying crystals oh shit I'm getting hiccups I'm sorry about that yeah, so when you're the collector, it's hard to know also if you should... Oh, there we go. I'm probably gonna die now. No, I'm fine. No, okay, I died instantly. I, I always, I'm always unlucky when I'm the collector. I have a tendency to die, like, as soon as I become the collector, which is a bit annoying. And it feels very random who gets the collector. I don't know if the if it's the guy in the team that have survived for the longest or if it's a rotation on who becomes the collector. It's very unclear. But yeah, it's it's a fun game mode and uh, but it's hard. It's really hard. Because the choices you need to make. And I just... Please, please game, let me become the collector. Oh god. Okay. I'm gonna... And now, add it to when I'm the collector. BAM! Okay, I... <laughs> I didn't manage to get into... Um, get into another extraction game quite yet. And I'm gonna show you Blitz first. Blitz is basically headquarters. That that's it. There's there's a point you need to defend from the other enemy enemy team, or you need to rather cap it for yeah until the bar is full. Oh god, pummel you! You need to <laughs> you need to collect or protect a point, cap a point for. Uh, it depends how long you need to cap it, depending on how many teammates you got on the point. I think it increases, like the cap, the capping speed, depending on how many that are on the point. Actually, oh god, I'm gonna die. Yeah, so it's 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 really fun. It's one. It's probably. The most chaotic one, but it can get into quite a stalemate depending on how aggressive the team, the other team are. Because some, in some games, uh, I've gotten into the really, sometimes really fun and sometimes really infu 
infuriating point of a uh, horrible stalemate on a on a point where no one no neither of the teams manages to cap the point and you can be stuck on the same point for quite a while because yeah it might be in a very exposed position where a lot of people can like get out their sniper rifles and just camp the point from a distance and when the other team are basically dead on that point people run in and the other team does the same things take take them out from a range and it, it, it's it, it's a little bit flawed all the game modes have flaws in them but it's still fun just because it's so chaotic and so insane and really intense fun. I, I'm gonna change to my other loadout. I'm gonna cap this and play with my other loadout and actually change. I need to show Leo like the healing gun, which I made, which is quite cool. So you can overheal people, which is bit. Basically, like you bring people in uh, in uh, TF2, and when you heal people, you also heal yourself. So, and you get quite a lot of points for healing your teammates. So it's a good way they reward you quite a lot for healing you, and it's really powerful too. Cause yeah, if you heal up a friend and just follow him around, you can. You can wreck some people because you can heal up quite fast with a good healing gun or heal other people or your friends. You can heal your friends quite fast with a god gun good medic gun. But the thing is uh, it, as you can see there's just so many different weapons which keeps the game it's very fresh. No round is the same. No, not yet at least, because everyone's using different weapons and playing different ways. And there's four game modes on like seven maps or something. So the the game varies a lot, and um, the because people vote for maps it always changes up quite a bit and you I think you can be I think you can stay with your team in a public game and then the um, opposite team gets switched to another one when the game mode's done so it always keeps everything very fresh so you don't like get steamrolled by a team and then over and over or y you just tear apart the team so I like that a lot it so far the game's just very very fresh all the time and you can always build around with new weapons and try out new cool things you can do with your weapons so that's just incredible and you can punch people in the face and win the round so that's that's just amazing and now i'm gonna show you extraction being a collector because that's the last thing i'm gonna show you today i think because uh i think i've covered everything else and uh, yeah i need to show you the lobby too here's the lobby um it's it's quite nice because you always vote on the map and it's the standard like two maps uh, which you can vote on and one random and I kind of miss that you can't play a specific game mode only if you want to because sometimes I, I think every game mode is fine I, 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 I prefer some game modes depending on who I'm playing with or if I'm playing by myself and so but yeah it doesn't really you can't guarantee that you will get into a death snatch or extraction for example which can be a little bit annoying but I understand why it's in there because I think 
the game is supposed to be always fresh and like everything keeps getting switched up which is nice but yeah this this is the lobby and uh, there's no voice over IP as far as I can tell which is quite nice because it can be really really frustrating hearing people screaming in the lobby but that's not they should have it in but a easy way to mute people that's my opinion of lobbies and uh, yeah and to be able to communicate in games so that's something they should add in my opinion maybe if they do it right at least and nice we're in uh, extraction so i will cut or I will show you this and then I will cut until I'm actually collector. Oh, come on, come on. Let me be the collector. Let me be the collector like everybody's all done. Yes, I'm the collector. So I'm the collector. As you can see, I move very fast when I actually got a blue thing. And being the collector is really interesting. You can either choose to be around this thing and just keep getting as many points as fast as possible but the thing is when you die there's a little bit of downtime and so it's hard to I haven't figured out if it's better to just pick a crystal run across the map and try to deliver them at different points and just staying alive for quite a while but, as you can see, you're really hard to catch up to when you actually got these crystals. Because you're so fast. And that makes things really interesting, because it allows quite a lot of interesting tactics. Because sometimes it's not worth running and delivering the, the crystal things directly because it can be more effective to just run like that and just cap because yeah it's it I find it I, I'm really I, I never like fight when I'm the collector because I think that's my teammates like thing to do and it is of course times when you should try to descend your defend yourself when you probably would die otherwise like now and yeah so this is this is quite fun because you can do really well as you see I got 12 captures really fast and had a really good run but the thing is it's a bit random when you become the collector and that can also be frustrating because sometimes you get the become the collector and you're just about to die and you become the collector with like 1% health and then you die because someone killed you with a fucking rocket to the face and uh, not that good uh, but yeah it's still fun I enjoy it immensely it's uh, it's it's a real good and solid game mode and oh god I'm actually doing quite well now I, I will I will show you my other my other load out in in action so you actually can see that so let me kill it thank you maybe you realize that I actually didn't try so you can change the loadout you can't customize the load so it's mid game which which is fine because uh, otherwise your teammates will probably just stand around doing nothing and fix with their loadouts randomly so that's a good design decision in my opinion because when you're only four players in a team and one guy is afk makes a huge difference it doesn't really matter in this game mode or in this game a lot because I mean, this game is... All games are about having fun, in my opinion. But this one really, really, like... 
really is like that. So yeah, it's just it's just great. I I just love this game. And uh, yeah, on I need to say they've actually killed. Oh, because this game is based on uh, objectives, uh, getting kills isn't that important. So even for people that maybe don't have the best aim in the world, you still can accredit the team in many, many ways. And I think it's probably fun to like less skilled first person or third person shooters. Or people that are less skill at third person and first person shooters, because you still can have fun. I I'm pretty decent at it, I gotta say, but I am I think I think that how it is at least. Because you you can basically only be a healer in your team and still help your team a lot if you're kind of a person that likes the support role. I I quite like being a healer too when I'm playing with a friend because it's quite it, it just feels really nice when you and a friend is like yeah teaming up you you got a healing gun he got a he got yeah some kind of weapon and you're just staying close behind him just keeping him healed up and healing your teammates getting them like over healed and it's just really nice to be able to do that too i mean it oh god die i'm gonna punch him in the face oh, or that works too yeah but this this game is incredible and i suggest that you try it out because it's free and the game is on steam and you can probably get it somewhere else, but I got it on Steam. So I will put a link in the description for you. I'm gonna be nice like that. And uh, that's my video of Loadout. Uh, this is a new format for me. I'm trying out a new thing. Just showing you a game I enjoy or maybe not. I'm just a game I feel like sh showing to you. And uh, hopefully it's gonna be a bit messy because it's the first time I try it out. But yeah, thanks for watching again. I hope you liked the video and in, in, in like and like the video, enjoy the video. So please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I will probably make it anyway, even if you don't. But yeah, that's it. And goodbye.